this video, we're going to install FL Studio 12 on a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. See if we can get it to open up and just do some real basic stuff in it really quick. Okay, so we've already logged into our FL Studio account and downloaded uh, FL Studio. So let's go ahead and install it here on our Surface Pro 3. This Surface Pro 3 is an i5 model, 256 gig SSD hard drive, 8 gig RAM. I actually got this from Surface proaudio.com go check out multi music technology uh, the youtube page i'll have that link below okay so we'll step through these prompts here let's say all users and i'll just leave it leave it like it is we already have asil for all installed on here as well okay that's fine that's fine all that's fine okay so now we just have to let this install We'll be back when it's done. Okay, so that is done. Now it's telling us we can download our reg code, which I actually already have here. All right. And we'll just go through this here and click finish. All right, pretty cool. I guess we should probably run our reg code here. All right. What do you say we go ahead and launch? FL Studio, and we can do 64-bit. We're on Windows 10, by the way, and it is 64-bit. So I guess we'll just open it up, see if it runs. That's the whole point of this video, right? Okay, look at that. Look how quickly that opened up right here, and it opened up the demo song, of course. All right, pretty cool. All right, so here's the demo song. Let's just see. All right, and all of that's coming out of the Surface speakers here, the Surface Pro 3 speakers. And, and uh, by the way, if I didn't mention it, everything you're seeing here is just mirrored from here uh, through this uh, mini display port output. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, obviously, I can't play you know much more than this for copyright reasons. Uh, you know, I can play little bits and parts, but look at that. It, you know, it works right here on a Surface Pro 3. That's pretty cool. What do you say we come over here and let's do something new I guess we can say new from template we'll just say club basic no we don't need to save changes there you know it's running really really well on the surface pro 3 let's see you know maybe do some touch stuff here Let's pull out our Surface Pro 3 pin and see how this works. Yeah, that's nice. So let's try a little more touch. This time we'll just use our fingers. That works pretty well. You know, of course we could use the pin. It works for, for, you know, pretty well. Click this button here. So we have multi-touch control now. I'm thinking, yeah. Let's try it like this here. See here, now we have two faders moving at the same time. That's pretty cool. Let's make this wider. And grab this. Yeah. So now this is nice to have this as part of the DAW. Yeah, I can see this being extremely useful you know, just, you know, if you're laying in bed at night and you get an idea, you don't want to get up and have to fire up a big computer. Just fire up your Surface probably right there uh, next to you on the stand, you're right, and uh, bang out some ideas. All right, so this works, you know, very well. Actually, uh, we haven't done anything here for uh, plugins. Yeah, that works. Let's, let me drop it up here, I guess, to the channel rack. All right, pretty cool there. Morphine and... All right, so it's working. I'm not sure if you could hear it there. Yeah, okay. Make the master go higher. All 
Okay, so I've literally spent maybe five minutes with this, and, you know, I'm already working it pretty well. So that's cool. All right, so that's pretty much it for this uh, quick demo. Just wanted to see if it was possible, and it absolutely is possible. Paint that in over here. You know, I don't have an interface uh, connected, so I can't actually record audio at this point, but uh, we can do a lot of stuff with MIDI. Really cool that this actually works here on a Surface Pro 3, and the touch actually feels really good. Uh, it responds really, really well. I mean, it almost feels like it was built with it, with at least touch in mind, maybe not specifically for touch, but it definitely feels like it was considered when this interface was designed, which is always nice to see in a doll. You can see how easy it is for me to adjust these things. You can see over here. Very nice, very beautiful interface. Uh, FL Studio is extremely, extremely different from... Uh, Every other dog I've tried. I mean, it's a. Uh... It's definitely something that takes a while to get your head wrapped around. But, uh, you know, go check it out. You can download the free demo and uh, check it out. Maybe watch some videos on it to uh, get up to speed. And uh, if you have a Surface Pro 3, hey, you know, it works here on the Surface Pro 3. Obviously, that means it will work on a Surface Pro 4 as well. So go check it out. And this is FL Studio 12 on our Surface Pro 3. Pretty cool.